Hey Marauders, welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at something that I've wanted to look at for a long time. Prince Adam on his Sky Slay. A really, really lovely box art on this. We can see Prince Adam on his Sky Slay. Skeletor and Rotan, my favourite trap jaw on a Sky Slay as well. We've got the guys up here in the back on the wing, the Wind Raider. Uh, top of the box, then we've got pictures of Castle Grayskull and Morden. On the end of the box, nothing. On the back of the box, now you can mix things up a bit, make yours look a little bit different. And more figures in the wave as well. So guys, let's get him open and have a look at him. Here we have Prince Adam and the Sky Slay out of its box. And it's a really, really lovely toy. Um, let's take a look at Prince Adam here. So as you can see, there's a super masculine head sculpt there on Prince Adam, even though he was only a teenager. I think he was. Um, very, very articulated figures again. They're, that sort of range of movement in the shoulder. The sh arms come up that far because of the tunic. Go back that far. We've got a bend at the elbow, which is also rotation. We've got a hinge in the wrist. And it also rotates that way. The head is on a ball joint. We've got some waist rotation. The legs can go out that far. They can come up that far. They can go back that far. Uh, bend at the knee. We've got a rotation there, which is a little loose on my one. Uh, the foot is on a hinge. And also that foot is on a swivel as well. Um, that is our Prince Adam. Now, the only thing I'll say about Prince Adam is he does not come with a, a connection on his back to put the sword in. So he has no way of minding his very, very nice pink power sword. Some lovely sculpted detail on it there, just on the blade. Just the way we remember it. And he can hold his power sword aloft, I think. Oh, his hand's a bit strained. Oh dear. Wait, no. We'll go with this hand. Even though he always held it in his other hand. We'll put it in his. We'll put it in this hand. For him to say, I have the power. So let's take a look at a Sky Slay. Put Adam over there. So the Sky Slay comes with several accessories. So if you've got a couple of them, you can change them out. We've got an alternate head for it. We have uh, alternate panels for down along the side of it. For here. And we've got a blast effect. And we've got a flying stand, which on mine is like so loose, it's not even funny. But I think that after this review, I'm possibly going to glue this in position because it's not the sort of thing that I'm going to be moving around. Anyway, let's take a look at the Sky Slay. Sky Slay is really, really nice. It's like there's loads of molded detail on it. And it's a lovely, I don't know, does it show up on the camera? It's more of a sort of a gray blue, I think. But it's actually this lovely sort of a teal green. Let me take a look here. We've got some a decal on here. Some bogies, 12 o'clock. Around the side, we've got some checker plate in effect there for the, feet, the foot plates. The exhaust ports on it. Blasters up the side. This huge cannon on the front of it, which can also pivot. And underneath, even though you're never going to see it, they've go into the bother of detail in that down there as well, which I appreciate. So if you want to make your sky slay a little bit different from one another to, to, to change the head, you just take that, pull it off, get your new head, and it just pushes in. So you've got your, I'm guessing now, just looking at it, is that like a snake mountain type head? And to, to change these panels, you just hook in there, and they pop out. 
and then you come along with your new panels and you just pop those in. So there we go. Put them back. Uh, blast effects wise comes along and you just push it in there into the barrel of the gun. There we go. Now for our size comparison. There it is with Battle Cat. Okay. Um. So we'll come along now and we will place the Sky Slate on the stand. To do that, you just come along. Sorry, Adam. You're a bit too eager there. You just come along and you put this peg here into this hole here. And just clicks in like that. And there we go. Now, there we go. See my problem? <sighs> Themeless. Now, we're going to try and put Adam onto the Sky Slay. So we take the sword out of his hand. And uh, we've got holes in the feet here. We've got pegs here. So the idea is. So you got to push those in there. Now the only thing I will say about these is that unlike the originals that we had as kids, the plastic is a bit softer in these. So that's what happened to his hand. From holding this, the plastic has stretched slightly there. So that's my one gripe about it. So we come along now and we will do our best here to say the necessary canticles off for the necessary devotions hopefully the sun is in the right position in the sky and the wind is blowing in the right direction and adam will mount his sky sleigh oh yes and there we have adam on his sky sleigh now i know he's a bit reclined on it it's just the nature of it and um, now you can see it's quite loose there i have we have got it balanced but there's a just say it's very nice. I uh, I'll just bring Adam in. I'll just bring uh, the He-Man figure in and just uh, we look at him side by side with Prince Adam. But uh, really nice to have on your shelf. It's nice to have the Adam figure there as well. Um, for any of you Masters of the Universe fans, as I say, it would be nice to have some place to put the sword. But we'll just have to make do. Okay, guys, if you like the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and see you in the next one. Thanks.